Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own GTA 5 custom crew logo. Now, it's a pretty simple tutorial guys and I actually did make this a while ago and um, when I first made my channel and it basically had zero subscribers. So I thought I'd make a new tutorial and basically just show you how to do it all over again. Basically just updated video on it. So the first thing that you want to do guys is go ahead and make a rockstar social club now the reason you would normally make this is if you want to go ahead and check your stats for gta 5 online so if i go over to gta 5 right now you can see all my stats and across all my characters even my online character and basically you can check your rank and stuff like that and you can also see your rockstar cinematics this way but once you've uh, linked your rockstar social club to your gta 5 online account what i mean by that is uh, the account that you play gta 5 on so as you can see right here i've linked it to my psn because I play GTA 5 on PS4 so I would link it to my PSN and basically the data transfers over. Now once you've done that guys and you've linked your Rockstar account to uh, your PSN or your Xbox account what you want to do is go into a laptop and basically go over to the Rockstar Social Club go over to your home profile and what you want to do is click on the crew subsection over here. Now once you've done that you have the option to join the crew or create your own crew or you can even see your own friends crews right here. But for the purposes of this video, we are going to be making our own crew. Now as you can see on screen right here guys, I've made my own crew when I first uh, started playing GTA and when I first started recording it. So as you can see, I have 40 members right here. Not a lot, but if you guys want to go ahead and join, I will leave a link down in the description for you guys. But what we want to do is make sure we have our own crew. And once we've made our crew, what we want to do is go over to the emblem section. And as you can see on screen right here, these are some of the emblems that I made dating back to four years ago, three years ago, two years ago, and one that I just done 32 minutes ago for the purpose of this video. And as you can see, these emblems are pretty good besides these three bottom ones. Um, of course, I don't have any artistic ability, so I didn't actually make any of these, but I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it, it's especially if you're not gifted in designing stuff like this. So once you've checked out the logos, what we want to do is go ahead and click Create Crew Emblem. Now it should bring up a little section like this where basically you drag emblems over or shapes over to make a logo that you want which is actually pretty hard. Now what you want to do is go ahead and click create new logo and once you've done that what we want to do is go over to this website right here which is called gta5logos.com Now as you can see what you can do is browse all these logos and go ahead and choose one that actually suits your crew or one that you like. So as you can see there's a lot of cool like little anime ones over here and there's a lot of gang ones um rainbow uh, six siege themes ones right here and it's basically just tons of cool emblems that people have made free for you guys to go ahead and use now i will say some of them do not work so it is a little bit of trial and error so yeah what i recommend is basically just keep on finding ones that you like and keep on trying them out once you find a logo that you like so before recording this, I actually found a logo that works on that I like, which was this one over here. Once you do, once you find the logo, what you want to do is basically just click on it. Uh, for example, find this one right here. And once you've clicked on it, it should bring you to a page like this. Now, as you can see, I've already done that on this logo over here. And from there, as you probably saw already, what you want to do is go ahead and click show code. And you want to go ahead and copy all of the code. And once you've copied the code, what you want to do is go back over to your Rockstar Emblem Creator. Now if you're on, uh, if you have Chrome installed, what you can do is go ahead and click F12 and it should bring up this section over here. Now if you don't have Chrome installed, what you can do is just click on this tab over here, go to more tools and go to developer tools and it should bring up the same, uh, same section that we did by just pressing F12. It's just a little bit of a shortcut to press S F12. F12. Now once you've done that, what you want to do is go ahead and um, left click. Now what you want to do is go ahead and click on it and then click paste um, plain text. Now once you've pasted as plain text, it should all the code should come up. Now from here, what you want to do is go ahead and click enter. Now once you've hit clicked enter, if it works correctly, what should happen is the logo should appear. Now as you can see on screen right now, it is actually bugging out a little bit, but what it's basically doing is just refreshing the page to get the logo to show up. So as you can see right now, the logo has now showed up and all we're going to do from this point on is go ahead and click save logo. Now once you've saved the logo, it should pop up down below right here. Now I've already accidentally duplicated it twice, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and delete the first one. But once you've done that, all you wanna do is go ahead and click publish. Now, 
once you come to this publish screen it should ask you what crew you want to publish it to I'm going ahead and publish it to my crew now once you've done that what you want to do is go ahead and click on your crew profile now as you can see in the gameplay in the background it said that I published this, log uh, this logo nine seconds ago now once you've published the logo if you're the crew leader what you can go ahead and do is click on this three little dots over here oh never mind what you can do is go ahead and click on the logo and I believe you have to wait a little bit if I'm correct never mind maybe you go oh sorry you go over to the emblem section and you can click on the three dots here and once you click on it here you can actually go ahead and make this your crew logo now unfortunately I don't really like this logo that much as I don't really know if there's any gang beanies behind it with the numbers and stuff like that so I'm just gonna be on the safe side and not click it and what I'm going to do is go ahead actually and equip more of my old ones um, and go ahead and make it my crew logo now as you can see on screen right now guys it actually takes 30 minutes before you can see this in game so you're going to have to wait a little bit but once you've done that all you're going to do is click OK now what you're going to do is just have to basically just wait that 30 minutes alright guys so as you can see in the gameplay in the background I actually only waited around 11 minutes and the logo did actually go ahead and appear now if I go into GTA 5 online now I should be able to go ahead and equip this logo to my car now unfortunately I can't do that because I'm not actually at home right now I'm recording this video somewhere else so anyways guys I can't actually show you the logo on my car but you're just going to have to go ahead and take my word for it as this is actually how you can change your logo in game anyways guys if you did like this video make sure you do drop a like and subscribe as it really does mean a lot as you guys probably know if you've been subscribed to my channel I've always asked about trying to subscribe as we're trying to hit 1000 subscribers before I believe I was around my previous video I was at around 620 subscribers now we've jumped all the way up to 711 which actually is a huge jump for me and I really do appreciate it guys anyways if you did enjoy the video as I've probably said before make sure you do drop a like and subscribe as it would really mean a lot and I will catch you in the next one peace